Hello, my name is Ikel O'Hara, and this is the Future Fiction Factory. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're going back to the future. That's right, we're going to play around with Novel Crafter. It's one of those programs that really has had a lot of improvements over the past two months. And I think we're going to have to do a ongoing series. There are several programs out there that are getting lots of improvements, and I'm going to have to start catching up for all of my writing people out there. We're going to be playing around inside of Codex today, and uh, we're going to play around with action, find out how you can export some things, you know, stuff like that. So let's jump right in. We are properly in Novel Crafter right now, and what we're going to do today is first, we're going to show you this cool thing over in the Codex. Now, as you know, if you have a lot of entries inside of the Codex, it can be extremely overwhelming. As a matter of fact, if I do, I still okay, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to show you what I just did because that's the big that's the big reveal for the first one is that you now can include or exclude anybody that is inside of a scene inside of the codex. So l let me show you what I mean. Right here you have an entire codex that has tons of entries, right? Tons of extra stuff. La a literal a literal cornucopia of information, a huge database of stuff. And every time you go into a scene, sometimes you want to have some references that only have to do with that particular scene, right? So how in the world am I going to be able to just concentrate on this one scene and really understand all of the extraneous things that will be affected because I'm in this particular scene and all of the codex entries that will be relevant to it? So how do I do that? Well, as I go up here to where the codex is, I'm clicking into the codex, and then I'm also going to make sure that I'm in write, which is right up here, because this don't work. I mean, it'll work other places, but it won't work the same way, and so don't follow, <laughs> don't do this unless you're in write. Okay, now that you're in write, and you have this right here, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here to where the codex search all entries thing is we're gonna click on that and you'll see this drop-down menu has all kinds of stuff now here's the first tip the first tip is that all of these things can be toggled on and off what does that mean that means that if you click it once it shows all the things that are in the scene that you currently have open right if you want you can double click it which is that was the second click and it will take all nested entries and exclude those nested entries and then if you click it one more time everything goes back to normal so if it has a, a description it should be included if it has a description and you click it again it'll exclude literally everything that has a description okay and if you want everything back there it is now, if you see right here at the bottom, we can even exclude or include anything that's just in the current scene. So I can click this, and now if I zoom out, everything that's in the current scene is available to me. So we have this big chase scene in the very first scene, uh, big chase scene in the very first chapter. And as you can see, all of the relevant information Everything about Anara's here, everything about Clan Ophic, the General Ophic, the House Ophic, which are two separate things, Relic and uh, Jump Box. I, I did the House Ophic and Clan Ophic because there is a, uh, one has a political aspect to it and one is a nobility aspect. Clan Ophic is like all of their holdings and all of the clans that they have under them that all affiliate with Clan Ophic, kind of their army. And House Ophic is the royal body that 
rules over the clans. And uh, it's not as big as a country, but let's just say it's as least as big as Texas, which is kind of as big as a country. So I have all of this information all set out, even the object that appears in the scene. All the things that are just for this scene. All right, so that's two things in one, really. All right, so second thing we're going to talk about is actions. Okay, so say we have, uh, say we are in planning, okay? And we have all of this information about our outline. What we want to do is we want to export this. We want to do something like that to get the information out of Novel Crafter. Well, you can do that with the Actions button right down here at the bottom. So I'll zoom in down here. As you can see, there it is. You click on it. And we'll zoom out and see what happens. You can copy all pros. You can copy the outline summaries. You can even delete scenes. So if I wanted to, I can copy outline and the summaries of the entire page or I could go to each one of the individual chapters and I can copy that summary or outline of that particular chapter. It's a pretty slick little uh, uh, add-on to Novel Crafter. And that's a couple of good real tight tips that'll help you kind of up your game in Novel Crafter. My name is Ekel O'Hara I... I love you guys. I love having you in my life. I love all of the interactions I'm having with everybody. And it, it just gratifies my heart. And I will see you in the next video.